Hey, this is Patrick with iPad Insight. Today I've got a quick demo for you of a really, truly awesome new jailbreak tweak, jailbreak app that lets you run win iPad apps in Windows. Um, the app is called Quasar, Q-U-A-S-A-R. It's by a jailbreak dev called Pedro Franchesi. I probably butchered his name, apologies for that. It's $9.99 in the Cydia jailbreak app store worth absolutely every penny of that. In fact, it's worth jailbreaking just to take a look at this jailbreak app on its own. So as you can see on the screen of my new iPad 3, at the moment I've got Flipboard open right here and it's flipping through its pages as it does. And I can flip to open up and jump to iPad Insight. Over here I've got my Twitter app. I can look through my timeline, mentions, and so forth. On the right-hand side, I've got the Football Manager handheld game. Chelsea are playing against Swansea in the preseason. I can move back over to Flipboard with a single, single tap. You change the focus to whichever app. Now you'll notice that while I, even though I'm giving Flipboard the focus, the Football Manager app continues to run and that game is still playing I can again tap right back there to pause that game for a minute tell it to play again move back to flipboard Chelsea just scored it looks like oh Swansea scored that's no good um, with a single tap you can tap and hold on this gray bar at the bottom of each app to move them around the screen single tap I can rotate the orientation of the app as well so Flipboard is now in portrait mode. If I rotate this guy again, and then using the little double arrow on the bottom right of any of the apps, we can resize it. Move it to the center of the screen. Now that's a little too big for my liking, so I'll size it back down. Again, with a single tap, I can switch this to full screen. Move to Flipboard full screen, tap the home button, and I'm back out here where I've got access to multiple apps. Let's open up an additional app here. We'll do Reader. And as you can see, it's refreshing its content. It's going to carry on refreshing its content even when I switch the focus away from it. The game is still carrying on over here. Chelsea went ahead 2-1. to one. We come back to Flipboard. We can look at Twitter again. Um, I've also run this uh, with four or five other apps open, and I've gone to Hulu Plus and looked at movie trailers and switched the focus away from Hulu Plus and let the game carry on playing and so forth. The only reason I'm not showing you that here is that Air Server, the app that I'm using on my MacBook Pro to do this mirroring of my iPad screen, was not keeping up with the video. Air Server was kind of falling over at that point. So that's quite a nice example right there of how powerful this is on the iPad. The iPad was handling this beautifully and having a movie trailer running in Hulu Plus, the football game playing in this window, Flipboard open, Twitter open. I think I had a Notes app open as well at the time. All of them, all of it being handled incredibly smoothly by the iPad. Um, I should mention that uh, I've been playing with this app since about mid-afternoon yesterday. Uh, I haven't really seen any slowdowns or lag with it whatsoever. Um, I also haven't seen uh, very much effect on battery life, which I kind of expected to see with this sort of proper multitasking. Uh, you can hopefully see up at the top right there, this iPad is still at 36% charge, and I spent hours and hours with this last night beating it up with multiple apps running in Windows started the evening probably at 6 in the evening at about 70% charge it was at 50% charge uh by the morning today and now I've been you know running it through quite a lot of this again so no no noticeable slowdown very little effect at all that I can see on battery life um a friend of mine and you a member called Tin Man at the Everything I Cafe uh forums uh, has shown a screen capture of running Infinity Blade and Infinity Blade 2 at the same time uh, and he also noted that he's seen nothing by way of slowdown while running both of those powerful games 
using Quasar on a jailbroken iPad. So this is a tremendously impressive jailbreak tweak. It's super cool because it shows what the iPad, or at least the new iPad 3, uh, is capable of here. And it's looking like it's very, very capable of true multitasking. Um, and that's impressive to see because this is what we know now that Apple can deliver to us at some point. Maybe it won't be with the iPad 3, maybe it'll be next year's iPad or longer than that, but it's great to see that this is what the iPad is really, really capable of. So once again, this jailbreak app is called Quasar. It's by Pedro Franceschi, $9.99 in Cedilla. Absolutely worth the price, worth the price of admission to jailbreak for this one. Hope you all are having a great Memorial Day weekend.